I'm Greg, this is my wife Mary Ruth. We purchased Glen Isle in July of 2017 and you know, purchasing this thing is a whole nother story and show, but um, uh, we purchased it in, in July of 2017 and uh, you know, an incredible adventure has been since then. But we are uh, we are the owners, but we, you know, Mary Ruth explained this a lot of times, like we are almost more the stewards than the owner because this has been here, you know, longer than we can imagine, 120 years in history. And, and uh, we hope that what we're doing here is trying to preserve it and restore it in such a way that it could possibly be here another 120 years. And so we're trying to revive the buildings and the structure, but we're also trying to revive some of the traditions and some of the vacations and experiences, you know, gone way by, you know, from the, you know, back in the past century. In 1899, 10 investors came and they decided to start the Glen Isle uh, Land Company. And so those investors built several of the houses that are located on the property. And Glen Isle, the lodge, the 8,000 square foot lodge was built at that time. And so um, in the 1920s, um, after the railroad had stopped, the property was sold to the Baldwin family. And uh, in the earlier times, it was a resort for the Denver um, people to get away from the busy, hectic life of Denver. And in they, 1900. Right, in 1900. <laughs> and then they would come here and this particular resort, there were several of them, but this particular one had a lot of uh, amenities that were really nice. They had golf and tennis and this was kind of known as the higher level of resort living. And so in the 1920s, I believe that the Baldwins kind of wanted to continue the tradition of the great things that were offered and in the 1940s when they gifted the property to their granddaughter um, they took it a step further added more cabins and started doing nightly activities that would draw travelers. There are so many things here that we never stop learning about stuff from you know the last century and the pre you know, the 1800s and it's constantly reminding us and learning new things about how people did things and I mean just since we do a lot of construction here, it's shocking to me how we use heavy equipment to do what men did with their bare hands just 100 years ago. 30 miles southwest of Denver on, two, on Highway 285, kind of almost in between Denver and Fair Play. If you're on your way to Fair Play to go up to Breckenridge or south of Buena Vista, um, we're right along the Platte River. It runs a mile through the property here, and we sit right down in the middle of the Pike National Forest. So we're surrounded on all sides by just a magnificent wilderness and park area. I think our Facebook site is a really um, popular way that people have found us, but also we have a website, GlenIsleResort.com, and that gives a lot of history and you get pictures of the cabins and such. Um, it, social media is huge for us. That's where most of it has come from. <laughs>